So, in the last video, um, oh, I've left the, the top off for my brown. That'll have dried up now. In the last video, which is the coils and antennas and all that sort of uh, stuff, weird things that happened, is that we have made this now. Okay, so I've made, in fact, a 6.5 metre long antenna and we've put about a metre from the top 135 turns I think it's about 35 micro Henry's it's about a one inch uh, former I haven't measured it all out so I can't tell you about it but today we used we used it uh, on and off a couple of times people could hardly some people said antenna one was better some people said antenna two was better and they wanted me to describe it and I said I'd make a video about it so I'll tell you what we've got now and then we'll go back to this video here and we'll explain what I think is going on so I've got a ground here and then we've got this antenna which is six only 6.5 meters long so that's 66% roughly two-thirds the size of a full size on 40 meters so what happens is I've got this element coming up the side to oh, where's six that's six and a half well, it's about here i've got a coil i mean it's quite a long coil at that point there and it goes up and in fact to tune 40 i just lip over the top now some people think that's a trap and i can guarantee it's not and i'll tell you why because this bit here where the coil starts is about 5.5 meters off the ground. So if it was a trap with a coil and a loading coil for 40 meters, then that would have to start at five meters or 4.95 because a trap, it would then be, it, you'd get this high and beans trap effectively so that you'd get 20 meters on a quarter wave. We're not getting a quarter wave. If you remember from the experiments we've done, when you take a coil and slide it up, I say slide it, it's got to be physically connected. You're not just sliding it next to it, right? But as you move it, there we are. What will happen is that the third harmonic starts to move. So normally on seven megahertz, uh, you would get, let's say 7.1. And then if you multiply by, by multiply that by three, you'd get 21.2 three okay but if you remember with the end effect which is a video i did a couple of weeks ago it's a bit higher okay and that's why we're normally resonant at sort of 21.6 ish and why we developed this little fold over thing on the full size version but anyway as you start as you compress everything and then put a coil in and move the coil up you will see the third harmonic change okay and as this comes up, because to start with, when I first did this experiment, this coil was a little bit lower. And sure enough, it was up at nearly 15 megahertz. So I've just got to keep putting the coil up to get the third harmonic down to, and it's now, I've got the SWR curve here somewhere. So on 20 meters, it's, if you look at the 1.5, to one SWR curve, all right? And it says here, we're at that frequency there is at 13.6, and that's at 1.5 to one. Uh, the spot frequency, it was literally one to one at 14.1. So I'll just write these in, that was 13.6, that's 14.1. And then at the other end, it was 14.6. Great bandwidth, I must admit, and some people this morning on the live stream said that this little thing was better or the full size 20 meter was better. Probably probably a very slightly different pattern on one to the other. Because if you remember, I wonder if I've got this on here actually, MMANA. Oh, here we go. Uh, 14, I don't know. I don't know where this is resonant in software, but let's just have a look at the far field plot. Uh, here we are. So the maths, thinks this is just a normal quarter wave. So this should have compared fine along with the signature 12.4. Maybe this a little bit better up here. I mean, I think we're within a dB, okay? 
But if you remember, that's it there. I built this and put the coil where that little red cross is. That's all it is, little coil. On my math, it says the coil was about 40 microhenries. But in real life, uh, in real life, that's ended up, I think, at about 35 microhenries. You could work it out. It's a 25 millimeter former, you know, tube, which is one inch. OK, and I think there's about 135 turns on it. And each turn is about 2.5 millimeters. So you'll be able to work it out. 135 divided by four is your length calc. 135 divided by four. Where's my calculator? It says 33. So the length of the coil, this coil length here, it says is 30, 33 centimeters. So it's about, uh, what's that, 13, 14 inches in, in our money. Anyway, so that works, okay? I mean, I just, <laughs> I, I wanted to get back to you to say, we've done it. I mean, is this the sort of thing that you just want me to publish the data and you can go and make yourself? What is the advantage of it? I mean, you could, you could get a trap as well. You could do it a different way. So, you, but I don't know if there'd be any more losses on 40 meters if you did a trap with the, for the 20 meter. Uh, I'm certainly half an S point down on 40 meters. So there's a little bit of loss there. I don't know what the math says. Does, does the math think we've got a little bit of loss, I wonder? I'll just have a look. 40 metres, calculate 7.15. I don't know where this is resonant in software. Is there any loss here? Far field, 73. Not really, no. So probably the difference between, I've got a tiny radial field on this thing, tiny. I think I've got about oh, 20 radials at like three meters long. It's, it's nothing compared to the full size 12.4. Here, the 12.4 that I'm comparing this against has got over a thousand feet, over, well over 300, 350, 400 meters of radials on average at 12 meters long each. And I'm comparing it to, you know, just this with a few. I was going to say, what is the benefit to you? I don't know. It can, I mean, it'd be quite handy if you just got a few radials you scatter on the ground and a single element, and you want to go out and do a, a quick activation or something. You've got 20 and 40 on one element, and that's quite handy. The only thing we haven't done, by the way, is, and what I need to do is I need to put a 10 and say a 17 next to this, and just to see what interaction would be, because that would be quite interesting, because then we've got, if you think about it, we've got a 40, 20, 17, and 10. Alternatively, you could say, actually, I don't want 17, I'd prefer 15, let's say. I mean, that's a really compact, super compact little contest antenna, isn't it? 40, 20, 15 and 10, all in a six and a half metre package on the, um, the Rapide pole, seven metre Rapide pole. Any questions, ask below and, you know, uh, maybe we'll have to do another experiment and, and I've got to measure all this out if you want the details of it, all right? so. Lovely. OK, all right, well, uh, next video's here. There's a playlist underneath. I think you got used to that now. A bit of comedy, a bit of fun, a bit of education. Have a lovely day. Enjoy your radio, OK? And uh, keep waving a flag. All right, bye for now. <laughs>